cut my cake into pieces. This is my last dessert. Alright guys, enough singing. Let's go ahead and learn how to fit widgets in our layout. Now, I know just by like looking at the title of this video, be like fitting wi widgets in our layout, didn't we like learn that already? Well, it's kind of hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you guys a demonstration, and then you're going to be like, oh, that's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys will say that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three um, let's just go ahead and make some labels, some very basic labels right on your screen. So of course, I'm not going to make any frames just because this is going to be like a really simple example. So I'm just going to put them directly in the root, aka the main window is going to be the parent. So for the first one, I'll just name it one. So again, right now we just have text on the screen. It says one and also I don't know if uh, I told you guys this, but you can also change the background color and the foreground color. By foreground color, I just mean the font color for labels as well. So the background setting, of course, is BG, which is red, and the text color is FG, stands for foreground. So this first label can, uh, I don't know, if we just have black on there, black on red might be kind of hard to see. So we have a label called one. It has a red background and it has a white um, font. So let me just go ahead and pack this in the screen right now. So one, pack, just place it in there. And we're actually just going to be um, packing all these things. Um, actually, pack them differently to show you guys a couple new techniques. But anyways, let's make another label right here and name it two. Of course, the font for this is going to be two. And I'll make all of these different colors. So this one is going to be green. And I think black on green will be pretty easy. Now for the second label, what I want to do is this. I want to pack it in there, of course. But what I also want to do is I'm going to add a new parameter. And that's fill is equal to x. Now what this means right here is right now we have a label. Now by default, it's just going to be the size of however big it needs to be. So this label right here is going to be, you know, I want to say like about 60 pixels wide, depending on how big the text is. Now, if we put fill X, this means that we're pretty much want to fill it as long as the X value of the parent is. So if we stretch the window or make it grow left and right, this label right here, it's going to stay the same size. It's not going to grow. This one, however, is going to grow in the x direction and basically fill this widget as wide as the parent is. So that's what this parameter means right here. So let's make one more widget and I'll show you guys in the y direction. And then once you see this program run, everything is going to be crystal clear. So widget three, of course, change it to three and I'll put uh, I'll give it a blue background and I'll make this text white as well. So now when I place it on the screen, I'm going to pack it in and I'll actually throw this on the left hand side. So side equals left. We already saw what that does in the last tutorial and the fill. Let's set this equal to Y. So again, this is going to be on top and it's not going to grow or shrink in any direction. This is going to be in the middle. And once I run this, it's going to um, grow left and right. And this is going to be on the left and it's going to fill Y. So check it out. So look what happens whenever I move my window. So one, since it doesn't have any fill, the one widget or the one label is always the same width and height. It only fits whatever text is inside it. It's only big as it needs to be. Two, however, since we put fill X, it says, okay, what is the size of your parent in other words, the main window. However big that is, I'm going to fill this widget in that direction. So it's as big as it's possibly can be. Now three, check that out. Now, however much you want to grow your window, the root window, it's going to fill it or fit it in that direction. So that my friends is how you can not only place widgets exactly where you want, but how you can make them dynamic or grow depending on the size of the parent you place it in. So I also want to mention one more thing. 
if you guys want access to any of this source code or maybe um, you try typing it but you got an error and you can't exactly understand where I'm gonna be putting all of the source code from all of my tutorials in my forum so if you just go to my forum um, it's gonna say something like uh, Kinter tutorial number three source code boom copy it paste it check it out also if you have any questions or if you just want advice on something then ask me on my forum and I'll answer it for you there but anyways Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.